gonna mess with the front of B at all. They're completely on the other side of the map. They're actually pushing out a little bit. They're just leaving that trademark to cover everything outside of B. Hey. Global Esports, though, definitely taking things a little bit slow. Going up side of tiles. There's that hot hands. The flash comes out perfectly, but just tampering with it a little bit. We hang back for a second, go in for a couple of trades, and then death with the swing. Spike and carrier dropped. And that's a lot of information for Zeta. Last player left alive, and Ben has to try to recover, but unfortunately shut down by that chamber himself. Yep, this is this is what Laz does for you. Mission. So it's a little bit tougher for Global Esports to trade that way. But back to some kind of setups. We've got alt orbs being obtained. While the rest of Global Esports is trying to find what they can get, but walking straight into the blender here with the automatic weapons. Wow! Actually going to melt Benkai as well with that fireball. So Zeta with the 2-0. Yeah, yep. just uh, on this uh, lurk. But Zeta are actually really steady right now. I mean, take a look at how they're positioned. Yeah, they've got this pretty well read so far. You know, Laz can just, again, he's so reliable on that chamber. Uh, he can hold down one angle. He, even with just a head under, in this case, he's got an outlaw as well. Now everybody has full armor. There's enough damage on Russ. I think one shot with the outlaw would take him out, but still, oh. I like this setup. Here we go. Just so executing in, we've got the flashes through. A bit oh. of a counter flash coming out from Sugar Zero, and that connects down, all the way through. Def able to get a couple of shots off with that Bulldog. Euron staying hidden inside this dark cover. If the timing is right, he springs out. That could be huge, but Lightning Fast has him covered. He pops up on top, picks off Step with that Vandal headshot, and that gives Global Esports the site plan. Lightning Fast continuing to try to push forward. Doesn't want to let them through with a doorman, as it were, this time. Blaze King now back to trade off. But Euron oh. actually comes back up. The automatic rifles somehow don't quite work out. And it comes down to Laz with the scope, with the shot. Zeta picks up bonus. Incredible stuff here from Zeta. Again, you know, with Laz just being able to sit over on A with the trademark. Uh, down through the A main side, and then him on elbow. Doesn't seem to be missing a beat here. It doesn't feel like really, uh, other than maybe towards the end of kickoff, that him and Hirodon <laughs> seemed like rookies. They just didn't. They, they were just built for this. And uh, that's another thing that they were talking about on the desk is how good the rookies are. Oh. We know how good Def is. Always. And I think just trying to get a sense for how this, this toxic screen comes out this time. So it's a bit of a punish towards Bankai, of course. Global Esports on a bit of an eco, so it's not going to be... Uh, too substantial of a round, but it's just a question of how much Zeta can get away with, and right now, they're starting to feel confident. No doubt about it. And you can see they're they're moving pretty nicely. Yeah. Although this this lurk from Polvi might cause some damage. Yuran is right behind him, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. Okay. Down yeah, eight. not quite. One enemy remaining. They could bought enough time for Polvi to come up from behind, maybe pick up a rifle. That could have been something different, but. Now, if nothing else, it's just going to be walking straight into them. That should be yep, an easy headshot. Zeta with the fourth win. Well, already, we're seeing pretty good comms from Zeta. The fact that immediately I was watching uh, the players on the mini-map there, and they were immediately looking back. Does not go to, uh, towards Global Esports. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I, I really think a timeout would be needed if this one uh, doesn't go their way. But Even it's... have a thrash right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this might oh, catch, yeah. this well, might catch Laz. Yeah, so he's going to have to get out of dodge. But fortunately, Ooh. he is a, a good agent to have in that situation. That's with the <laughs> Ooh, wow. Wow. Solo entry on the other side. I, I guess that works as well. Now, you have a little bit of attention drawn over. You've got Lightning Fast with the, from the shadows, teleport over. We could get the spike planted, but we also need post-plant positions to come into play. Spike Zeta planted. definitely on the uh, on the spot. They're trying to you know, come back for a retake. They've already eliminated one player, so four on four. I mean, Zeta reacting so well right now to everything that's going on in the map. And again, but getting players out of this post-plant position is really tough. Okay. A bit of a mosh pit, Sugar tapping it all the way half. That's enough. So they have a bit of an advantage right now, and everything's being smoked off outside of main, too. So this is a really tough fight for Global Esports to be in. It's a bit of a firing range, but as soon as they can kind of get their position in, stick it all the way through, it should be enough. But oh, the sprays are too good. Hiroran, despite getting the 4K, is it enough time for Laz? It is! 
Oh, so good. Rookies, right? But then they come in and they do things like that. And now this is just such a big advantage for Zeta Division. Look at the number of ultimates they got. Oh, Polvi, though, opening things up with an operator of his own as a raise. I was curious if Laz was going to pop the Tour de Force, but going to hold on to that since he's still got his op from the previous round and trying to see if he can find a pick of his own. Good work there by Polvi. Benkai, a double push coming at him. I think a play up Man. around mid and tiles too. But Hirodon is just doing such a good job at denying entry around these spots. Global Esports wants to try to you know, ex extend their limbs a little bit, stretch themselves out, try to get an opening here and there. Maybe a bit of attention drawn towards mid, but it's not quite enough for the solo player Bankai to kind of push into halls. So now, I mean elbow. So now Global Esports with that one player dropped, uh, trying to go back in. Yeah, I mean, you can see, though, that Zeta's comfortable to play a little bit of post-plan in this one. They're, they're looking for a retake setup. They're going to let him use some of that utility, but good discipline here by GE. Not committing a whole lot. Obviously going to use the wingman to plant the spike, but the, the Hunter's Fury is just going to maybe... It did delay the plant, so we got that. It is enough. Oh, counter Hunter's Fury back to Retirodon now. Oh. And that's him eliminated. Did he even get a tag onto Sugar Zero? Not too sure. But now it's a three on four retake. A little bit tougher for Zeta Division. Might have been a little bit overconfident on this one with a retake. Light nice fast pong. makes quick work. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, that was a really good ping ponging there from GE. They're, they're, they're looking a little more confident here in this round. It seems like they're kind of getting it on, kind of figured out. Oh, you're on it. You don't know, man, are so crisp. Still able to guide some picks. I don't know if there's enough time. Oh, wait. Recon trying to pull the attention away. Polvi with a showstopper, and that's going to be enough for Global Esports to pick up their Kai kind of lurk around this A site. If Benkai gets dropped, um, Zeta tends to think that, you know, this site is kind of open now because Benkai's on the lurk. But that's not the case anymore because Global Esports is trying to send a bit more, uh, more reinforcements into this A site. Maybe a bit of a split if they manage to take top mid. Yeah, they, they're doing a good job recognizing Ooh. where Laz is kind of having tendencies to play on that chamber. So good jump, jiggle peeking there. And then able to go for a wide swing. Ooh, Ops Safe. missing there as well. Yeah. Still a bit of space taken, but wow, look at how Zeta responds. He don't just kind of falling back bound by bound. Now Dev comes back in. A bit of a double. Whoa. A third. The flash. The run it back. It's just so darn good. And all that's left. Plays King. Can't really escape either. Able to take down Yudon at the very least. 30 seconds left. He's got a save though. It just doesn't Couple feel. Couple picks, but see if he can get it done. Take okay. It okay. Yeah, I don't know if Zeta wants to continue ahead. hunting this. Too bad from Blaze King, but the adaptation, the adjustments from Zeta, and it all starts off with players like Yudon again. You know, getting he trades by himself with that too. Sova. Yeah. Like Dizzy and then like Satchel in or. I. I, I mean, I think, again, you when you're going B, especially with the Gecko in there, you're trying to set up for the, a, the B main post plants. But with that paranoia, I think they've bought enough space to potentially get the wingman in, but enough. they're pulling off. They don't like the contact they're getting. They don't like that paranoia. You know, likely you're going to have a couple players over there. So Okay. Maybe trying to sell a bit of a fake too, but yep. uh, if they don't do enough, I don't think this fake. Uh, I don't think this fake is gonna be bought. I mean, look at that simple shot from Laz, and Hiroran still hovering around the A site. The awareness left. is just so sharp from Zeta, and they know that they have the numbers for this game. Yeah, they're so good. And look at—they're coming from every angle. I mean, you've got two wrapping through A main. You've got a couple coming from top. This is gonna be a really difficult, difficult post plan for GE. Not much utility to work with either for GE. Perhaps if you can hold That's off well. to the uh, defender spawn spot, One enemy might just remaining. be able to prevent them from breaking through. But look at how Yuran is coming up from behind. Something that Global Esports did not quite expect. And now that's going to be Zeta with a 7 to 1. We good. It's clean. I, again, comms and awareness are really what it is. It's a bit of a tell this time. Okay, that's definitely a tell. Thrash coming through. They don't see anything though, so this could be a good site capture what by Global Esports. Zeta has to go in with their full investment to retake. Viper's pit up as well. You do have the drone as well to try to clear that pit. So some, some tools here for Zeta to work with, a counterfeit of their own potentially. So far so good though. Global Esports staying hidden. Polvi sneaking out the front on towards Boba. Able to get one, but last with the headhunter answers back. Thrash able to connect, oh but Hiroran! 
He actually wrapped back around Pova again. So that's the initial line of Standing defense ahead. getting messed Last with the cleared. rest of them inside. Oh, the way that they're pushing along with Hidoran's utility. Sugar Zero with the double at the end. Zeta are looking unstoppable right now. Yeah, the protocol's just a bit off there for GE. Right now, but Hiroran a close second. That's really impressive for this, you know, sort of new player. Back in again, though. Colby trying some entry antics. Well, Satchel doesn't quite land. Hiroran shuts him down, but the trades come through anyway. You've got Depp with a run it back, though. Lightning fast, able to sneak up behind. Shuts down Depp, but Laz answers back. All of a sudden, and Zeta this time, just going to plant their feet and wait this out again. Great game sense. Got a lot of time. Okay, initial tap. Zeta starts to move. He's still kind of paranoid about his back, though, but that recon will give him all the information he needs. Oh, but just a bit of a shoulder. That's all Laz needs. Zeta now with the nine. Very close to double digits, and we are nearing the end of the first half, Paper Thin. Actually sinks out and, and I mean, again, it's Hirodon on. on we'll, we'll see how he wants to use it. I thought maybe he'd use it this round just to shut down one of the angles, but oh, what is Sugar Zero doing? What? Oh He's my God. pushing along with Depp. A little bit of information for Depp on the other side of Tiles, too, because of this toxic screen, though. It's just so much value. This setup from Zeta is just too darn good. And it's so similar to what we saw in the pistol round. A, a similar kind of push. This time, though, that too. You know, pre oh, no. previously we've seen that toxic screen uh, for a bit more mid control. Okay, going in for the hunt now. Sugar Zero cleans up. Classic standard stuff. But yeah, the toxic screen before we had it Last towards Beast, and then they the started half. to get a read that eh, maybe this individual round. play through the roof. No one. Nothing to fault. Yeah. You know, just wanting to stop them in their tracks. But back into it. Oh my god, Hiroran! In a one corner, able to take down two. Russ is the one who trades him out. But at this point, it's a three on four. This could be an 11 1 first half. Is this all that Global Esports has to offer? Surely it's going to be more. Lightning fast from the shadows right behind. Depth feels a bit of that heat. Despite being with Phoenix, the rest of them, Zeta tries to provide that reinforcement. Spike Global Esports has no a. idea that this is where they are coming from. Yudon heads up duel onto Blaze King. No trades found. It's all down to lightning fast. The hope of South Asia. A bit of a crouch, but last with the operator punctures through his torso. 11 to 1. Zeta ends the first half. Switching sides. But captured. How is Global Esports going to retake this? 5 on 5 on pistols? Yeah, and plus Zeta still has a ton of post playing utility oh. available. A ton. They have everything shock darts, recon, snake bite. Uh, I mean, wingman. It, yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy. Look at that flash. Great oh, recon though from Blaze King and all the swings come out. Depp able to get a bit of a double, but Lash streaks right back. It's still a two on two. Zeta still has a chance, and Lash has the Boys optimal the angle for this. The headhunter shots a bit of a whiff, but still buying Boys enough time for Euron to play around the corners. What is this tap with the classic now coming back in? Pulvi tries to stay hidden, but he's running out of time. Reload swings back out. Euron just clips him in the head. Be really cautious to make sure that these tough angles are going to be easily clear with a great shot from Russ. Great opener. This shuts down the, uh, any hope of an A entry now. But also a bit of information for Zeta. They know that there are more players towards A site. They might just be able to rush down, pull B, take down B. They've managed to force him <laughs> off. The paint shells got there just in time to prevent it, but not the end of the world. Okay, is... buy stuff for Ben okay. behind too. Yeah, planning for B main. He's got to deal with this, but you can't. That guy's good for it. All right. Good chance for Global Esports to extend their rounds in this moment, but Zeta Division actually holding themselves down too with the Bulldogs, with Sugar Zero. All they need to do is to stay alive long enough, buy enough time. We've got a bit of a curveball being thrown. Dem oh my god, with the spray down, he gets the quad to end the map. Zeta Division, what an opening game. It's great for retakes. It's even better on the
the attacking side. So that could be why Global Esports is kind of hanging so far back, especially on the A side too. But then again, it just brings us back into a bit of a full on pistol battle, pistol firefight on this first round. Global has made their way through. Euron gets all of that juicy information. Hey guys, we're hearing a lot of footsteps. Uh, just watch out for this. Dizzy gets sent out. Depp tries to reposition, but three players dropping down on top of him. He's not quite able to land the shots. Euron crouches down, able to cut down Blaze King, but not quite enough to fend off the rest of Global Esports. Rust with a lead shot to the head. And now that's going to be down to Laz. The wall comes up for the defuse. Pulvis just sticking all the way through. Lightning fast trying to oh, jiggle back and forth. What a move! He gets the shot, he jumps up with the zip line! And Look, he yeah, GE gets around, but god dang, that's so smart from him. Uh, but, but he wanted to take that deep snowman plant, and GE really able to handle that part of it nicely. It's just a little bit of a fumble there on the Sage. Oh, Olby okay. doing stuff with the Outlaw. Here. Well, that's just the Outlaw stuff, you know? <laughs> Two shots completely shatters you if you don't have body armor. There's the third. Maybe we got a couple more. Oh, a bit of a whip. Swaps One over to the classic. Remaining. Russ coming in to bail him out. He jumps for. He jumps for. Global forward. esports trying to play around things and then trying to retain alt orb control. I mean, look at how Polvis managed to sneak all the way up on top of uh, Nest right now. Bit of a uh, lurk from Lass. Manages to catch him down. But the rest of Zeta have already beat their way up to the B site, along with Little Bro. He's get, they get the spike down. Lightning fast, a bit of a shot through. I'm not sure how much more they can get. Trying to go off the zip lines now. Lightning fast with nothing but a sheriff. Unfortunately, gets burned by the mosh pit. Yeah, great anticipation there by Yudan to put that mosh pit. Trying to get a read of how they might approach things for the past couple rounds now. They've gotten a little bit slow. But now that they've got the thrash. A little bit more wiggle room to push forward. Global Esports, though, actually hanging back, making use of screens, making use of uh, rafters, and that's just going to be a little bit tougher for Zeta to hold. You got Polvi with the oh. blades now. Spike Lightning down. fast, first shot down. <laughs> Snaps to the top One of pipes, and that's going to be Polvi up in the air. We've got Benkai coming in now, and that's going to be down to Sugar here, trying to stop this push, but. It's not quite going to happen. They knew where he was. And they find him on the back foot economically once again, where they're into uh, a few sheriffs, a bulldog, but the buy is very weak. Yeah, it should be enough for Global Esports to take things home. And that's just kind of what we were talking about from the previous map too, right? Global Esports, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. You come in with a clean slate, mental reset. They just might be able to push Whoa. us into a third map. But look at the volley of utility from Zeta Division. They really want the site. And Euron was so ready for where Polvi would have to escape to. All right, up on top of the wall now. But Global Esports. Tim expects it, able to get those shots My down, but Hiroran, okay. Still able to kind of stand his ground. A couple of kills going his way, but he's got a couple more targets to hit. Not expecting Russ up on top, so that's going to be global with enough. Real nuisance on that A side at times, especially with those sniper rifles in hand. Now he's going to be taking a peek down mid. Laz, though, going to be going in towards A site, so nobody available. Lightning Fast going to have to get out of dodge. Blaze King, nice cover fire. Down, B. Just keeping Zeta Division on their toes. You still got Laz on this bit of a lurk towards A, though, and that's what I'm keeping my eye on. The rest of them you know, potentially trying to push into B and then maybe Laz to swing up from behind, but with everyone pushed up this far up front, they, they have no idea that Polvi's down mid. It's a bit of a hairy situation for Zeta Division to be in. No doubt. And Blaze King knew that that KJ utility was going to be right oh. there. Old Benkai. Try. Oh, Dev. Jeez, man. Still the shots. Down, I mean, Dev, despite uh, being able to get a double, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I mean, it, it just came down to dry duels peeking in and out of yellow uh, or orange. But coming back into it now, the Thrash gains all of the information. They know it's no longer going to be a B hit. What they might not know is how deep Laz is in. 30 seconds Jab left. that res. That res. Yep, and that gets... That gets the ult back as well there for Benkai. So lockdown in play. He's gonna have to get this plant down, find some safety. Have a couple Vandals, you're gonna have to go deep back towards your spawn for Zeta. 
try to make this work. Laz gonna maybe try to go for an early pick, but that, that lockdown should be coming right outside of the site here. And would definitely force Laz back to me. Oh, in fact, it's just gonna be the Dizzy. They're actually running forward without the lockdown. There goes the first half. Baits out the peak from depth. Well played, well shot by Benkai, and then lightning fast. <laughs> Off of the wall, finds Laz, trying to stay crouched in the corner. Global Esports now with the streak. Yeah, uh, they don't even need the lockdown. They're just at sight. Early alarm bot, though. Depp's going to dodge. Any vision just yet, using that smoke to kind of push back Benkai. Trying to sneak through. Benkai does have the well, going A. alarm bot available as well. well OK, there's that busy, but no, Depp shooting at the after image of this. It's gonna be Russ and Benkai to shut them down. Zeta Division completely lost the plot. Sugar Zero trying to make you a little window, but Benkai just says, hello, you know, you still gotta watch your sides. All that's left is none other than Laz with a Sheriff. Oh. Good dig on the Blaze King, though. But it's definitely not quite gonna be enough. All oh, the heal from Lightning Fast as well. And uh, we're just counting down the seconds to that final shot through Side Laz. Setups. The anti-flash positions that Rust sometimes plays and also pull these operator. Now trying to just full send it into the B site along with Dap with the Tailwind. They managed to get a little bit more space. Little homie actually able to get the spike plant down this time. Spike planted. It's gonna dodge all that utility too. So they're able to get it down and then get the, the Viper's Pit as well to go. But behind it, you still have a lockdown if things get really dire. Uh, still the thrash and there goes for Euron to really clear this out to really make sure this is safe, but you should run. potentially a little bit tricky as both lockdowns come through. Depth, though, good for one. And there's the two lockdowns now. Sugar Zero having to push forward, actually Last able to take down game. the initial lockdown from a Benkai. But then you've got Russ. They've managed to kill the, the Diffuser, and that's going to be enough for Zeta Division to secure the round. That's what the timeout was for. You know, although we that's saw... That's kind of what I, I've been seeing it a few times across the various regions that the teams will start doing that now. And I agree. I, I think you can hold those angles well enough that you don't need to necessarily go that deep. And you can that's, just spray that's at that's the not generic fun. angle, you know? Yeah. If it's not like uh, the toxic... Uh, and rely on your mollies and things like that. Oh. Exactly. The snake bite that was shot onto it. But now back in the next round, Zeta tries to randomize and swap back over onto the A side deck with the tailwind. But again, look at these anti-flash positions. Dizzy takes a second before you know the, the, the blind, the goo hits. So Russ is still able to shoot that down and snaps back onto Depp. Great response from uh, from Global Esports. Yeah, exactly, the protocol is so good. I, I mean, Laz has gotten into the kitchen, but Blaze at least kind of sniffing it out. Still, wow. Laz able to outdo him not before taking a fair amount of damage. Oh. It's a bit of damage, but still alive enough. That set him up against Polvi, and Polvi has the operator. Polvi has a better chance. On a retake, though, it's going to be a little bit difficult. So he's playing. Laz is sort of playing an anti-op spot, expecting this push. Has tucked himself in. Wow, you're behind right. the hut. I, I mean, this is. It's a bit of a crossfire too. If Sugar Zero turns around. Oh, we read it. Oh. <laughs> You don't off, you don't off the original <laughs> operator. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got the wall now, but Rush just sticks. Wait, the wall is enough? No. You've got the moshpit, and that takes him off of it. Sugar Zero goes in for a couple more shots now. Last with a quad kill, and Zeta has been. Zeta can't really profit from this. Try to go for the orb, but not able to fully snatch it. And that's a great opposition and oh. a shot for Bulby. There we go. That's what Global Esports needs now to shut down last, uh, Zeta's momentum. Last, though, up the zip line actually gets the shot onto Russ. No more anti flash for you. We've got the barrier off to block off uh, one of the potential paths into the site. But you still have Euron and the rest of them managing to push through. Death. He use up the updraft, he goes on top of the uh, barrier orb, but he's not needed. Euron's already done enough work on the other side. Maybe it was a bit of uh, movement and accuracy, but... But I love this. It just gives them so much information about what's going on on the map. They know that Zeta can't push A, and they're oh, all shifting over to B. King. The situation is incredibly tense. Oh, my. Not quite able to secure the kill. Sugar Zero just kind of the doubles and hangs back. Exactly. 
Teammates from Garage able to get the kill, but now it's up to Ooh. Lightning Fast. What a tap. A bit of a double kill Russ up from Snowpile 2. And that's enough for Global Esports to secure themselves another round. But it's just kind of one missed thing there for Zeta on their execute, and that's the angle that Lightning Fast is holding behind Yellow. I, I mean, that's all it took. And that's they can take this one eight to four as we go into the second half. Might be even better for Global Esports. Oh, yeah. yeah you gotta try to find a way to deal with this off. Not gonna happen. Wow, walked right into it. Hiroran not having a better time on this uh, second map. Hiroran maybe a little bit better, but you know, that's the thing. Initiator's gone. It's gonna be a little bit tougher for Death to work his magic. Maybe it's just Laz who walks up by himself and that's all it takes. I think GE just had to destroy their own wall so they can get over to B where Laz is causing problems. Oh! He's unreal. Okay. Lockdown being pulled in. <laughs> It was the last round, uh, but Polvi's still able to hold the angle with the op. Things like that, but that getting spicy. Oh, 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 there was that dizzy, but the blind. Shut down, yeah. Yeah. Started anticipating 30 seconds uh, left. that this is going to be A, no, but still, nobody comfortable to fully shift over. Oh. And it's lightning fast again. He's been so good. Oh. I mean, look at how they approach the site from both sides, some on top of uh, pipes, some coming out from the other end of 410. Last, Last now trying to hold up under Evan, and it's just not quite enough. Sugar zero. Spike planted. Trying to sneak in. He's got a classic. He's got three targets to hit, though. He is There's sugar the hero. Is, is it time? You gotta put on your cape. You gotta change your costume. You can to stick it oh, oh my god! What a connection, not to lightning fast, but Russ <laughs> able to extend just by a bit. It's gets almost his head offline. <laughs> it's almost the Wide same. open here for Son the side of GE, and should be probably figuring that out pretty quick. Yeah, if utility's thrown towards green or anything, Blaze King's gonna hear it. But what is this? <laughs> They're slowly clearing out. They're slowly doubling back in towards the B site. Poison orb emitting. I'm sure this off. is a good idea. Zeta's still just staying tucked away. They never read it. They, I mean, they felt like it was a trap on A, I think. Oh, all the flashes being thrown. We're getting Bella rented. Zeta are landing their shots. Yudon and Hinodon with the classics Spike actually down. able to land things down. And with the piss, kind of an odd decision from Global Esports. Well, that's a good start. But they are still sharp with their shots, especially on this map. Still so feeling some of those hot hands. They're holding this, these defensive positions. It's so far back. Global Esports doesn't get a single lick of information. So it comes out to the executes. They make it fast, they make it heavy. It could be enough, but Wingman gets shut down. No spike plan available. You gotta play past the Toxic screen too. So just swinging out, trying to find what they can get. A couple of sheriff shots. Oh, 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 Managed to secure a couple of kills. Depp now with the outlaw has to come back into this round. He's got two shots in the chamber. I don't know if that's gonna be enough though. Even the rest gets a puncture on towards Russ. The slow on the other side to deny this one spot. Looking to possibly pick up the weapon. Trying to tries to mask the sound with an opening shot. It wins on to 410. Another cloud burst. Still a snake bite as well. Oh, has to push through though. Oh, look at lightning fast with the pistol. Reach. Death able to spray, gets the quad kill, and sticks the landing. Zeta Division. Just when you think that Global Esports might have come back into the game. Yeah, I mean, you got to feel good about that round as GE. You do. Don't have Wingman going through yet, though. They're anticipating that Zeta might be around the corner, ready to shoot him down. Bit of Fragment secures the corner, so now they managed to go through it. Polvi able to cut them off on the rotation, making sure that nobody comes through on the entry. Sugar Zero, though, just a bit of noise, and all of a sudden, Benkai has to watch his back. Oh, yeah! Monster on they're, the loose! They gotta keep that pressure on that backside, at least fake it, but. Okay, good thrash. It's gonna be tough. Jermont still able to stick it all the way. Okay, back into it. Nobody from Global Esports is pushing now off the spike. 
depth oh, with the antics drops down, but Lightning Fast and Benkai have their boots planted firmly in the Finding their way back into this. You feel like it has to come Ugh. a little bit whiffy, but gonna have to come in the back of this blade storm. It almost feels like this has to be that, that moment where depth kind of takes over around on this eco for Zeta. Yeah, if it doesn't, then you're in danger of match point, so or map point, so it's gonna be I think G you heard this. Really, really sure. Can't be killed. Oh, Poison off. That's huge. Great shot. Now B is an option. Rotation's being pulled over. Let's see what kind of call IGL Rust makes. I guess she's just waiting re for reinforcements and then the slow march forward into B. Yeah, it's taken quite a while. Felt like they were looking for any other lurks, but again, wall up, able to give Wingman a little bit of safety there. That's a good wall for that plant. Really makes it difficult. Along with Toxic Tree, too. Yes. Retake not looking likely. Unless Depp. I mean, even if you jump up with the Tailwind, this is not a good angle for you. Yeah, he's, he, no, he's out. He doesn't have any of that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Simple shot from Polvi. Three positions. Everyone's still holding up around yellow. Just one shot from Laz is all that Zeta got. Meanwhile, you, you guys are feeling it now, and you love to see it. So, a little bit of a push to get up on top of the belt, and it's it's a pretty quick hit. Blaze. Oh, he gets caught with wow. flash. What a setup there by Hirodo. Here. Looking a little bit better this time. Dizzy out. Dap in position to strike. Gets the double, spike, down spike dropped. Global Esports now in a tough position between a rock and a hard place. You can't retrieve the spike, you can't get those kills. Only able to get one, maybe a second. He's got three more targets to go through. Oh, old action, yeah, it's just tough. Dev swings out along with a teammate. No um, collateral kills this time. It's the thing, so yeah. trying a different approach this time. Going out from around Pipe's angle, you've got Wingman and the wall coming up. Spike plant secured, Pulvi able to retrieve a weapon. Oh, but Depp punches him down. Retake with advantages from Zeta Division yep. now. You've got so many ultimates. A lot to work with. Waiting Time. on that lockdown. Oh, lightning fast. Time though. If Lightning Fast fends off for, you know, oh. maybe one more kill. Okay. But they're not pushing in. Swarm grenade out. Look at Slowly going through now. Ben trying to sneak up from behind. Last Russ has to stay alive, but not time. quite going to make it happen. Nano Swarm able to burn off the first. Yeah, that's not enough time for Zeta Division to secure a spike any remaining. longer. My ultimate is ready. And with that, Global Esports gets cool. towards map point. Had to focus for a Brilliantly played here by Benkai. I was a little bit play like a really information-starved defense. They would be able to pull something off, but it doesn't quite work out. Now Depp goes in for a bit of a preemptive strike, and Global Esports has to rethink their strategy. Hanging back in, maybe looking for a bit of a punish towards. They got the res. So I, they're, they're trying to clear for it, ally. making sure that it can't get punished easily. Okay. Yeah, nicely, nicely done. You don't know. He doesn't hear anything. Whoa! Dev getting the information now. Dude, Laz not able to secure the kill. Lightning fast is so good on this stage. He pretty much saved the previous round too. Now coming back up into it. I don't even know if it's, if it's the stage necessarily. It's just his skill. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really just his skill. For whatever reason, he's super comfortable. Now Ben getting a couple more kills. They managed to push into A. And then you've got Blaze King. Sneaky, sneaky, all the way up around B. Zeta They're gonna use that info. Has no idea. You got 30 seconds left too, and the pressure is on. Spike back towards B. 30 seconds left. You can at least recover that gun for Sugar Zero. Potentially upgrade him to that Vandal. Yeah. Okay. So that's you got that going for you if you're Zeta, but this is gonna be an extremely difficult retake. And look at where Great Blaze King. Angle. Yep. He's that's doing it right, right back to him. <laughs> <laughs> the one that Laz was playing from before. But again, I mean the main. The factor is time right now. 30 seconds around or oh. so for Zeta. Hiroran checks. Got Depp coming through Garage. Something that they don't expect. Global Esports oh, has no. no idea. Spots two. Simple taps. Maybe a third. And it's all too easy for Depp. 
it's just kind of like playing a stealth action video game and he just kind of like lines him up. But I don't think... No. Yeah, it wasn't close enough to the center. So right, it, it, for the Damage. fragment to clear a lockdown, it has to be right in the center Welcome of where the fragment lands. So enough space for Blaze to now deploy the Viper Spin. And he's got a Judge inside of that thing. That's even deadlier. Dep tries to secure the surroundings of it with the Blaze Storm. The Outlaw cutting down Benkai. But I'm waiting for Blaze King. Stay tucked away. Teammates have fallen all around him. And all of a sudden, Hirodon appears in front of his... Definitely, you would think that we saw it before where Spin will take a timeout on the Eco, and then it'll be the follow-up after that. But not going to be able to get into any alts really, as they invested so much in that previous round and lost it. Yoda. Ooh. Nice angle. I think I saw a smile yeah. after that one. <laughs> it's very calm. It doesn't really, like, explode and pop off if he celebrates. But he's apparently a jokester. He's apparently very funny, very, like, Depp really, really... I was talking to Zato a little bit. Depp really likes his new players. Not ready for Blaze King, though, is Depp. Wow. That's Blaze a sharp King. flick and a half. Yeah, pushed up further than Depp was expecting. Laz gonna see that. Oh, he turned. Oh, he, he didn't really register it no. in his brain. Oh my god. Are goodness. we gonna end this map on, off of a thrifty and eco win? Really? Okay. Oh, that's nice mosh. Mosh kind of blocks off the plant for a second. Players trying to reposition around. You got Sugar Zero trying to wrap up from behind. But one's been twice shy. I feel like Russ is anticipating this now. The rest of Zeta continuing to push forward, along with that flash from Hiradon. They need to clear out oh. yellow. The Dizzy's crit what? by Hiradon doubles back. A bit of a fadeaway shot. He takes down Blaze King. Timer still taken away. Russ able to deny the back. Now all you got to uh, worry about is the front door, oh but Hiradon steps up in the moment when he is needed. That's unbelievable. I thought after that Dizzy, he was done. I, that was a great play from GE. They should win that battle probably 90% of the time. But the, the spray week. transfers. Depp now looking for an aggressive pick. Here. Trying to throw Global Esports off their kilter. It's it's just so brutal when players are able to do stuff like that against you. It just is so tough to overcome when they're just hitting shots like that time and time again today. But this this round, that timeout must be for this round. Here. Ask me. Global Esports looking to secure this map. If they don't do it on this round, they're gonna go into the next one with Smart. a bit of a half inch by. Russ Bye. sneaks up, able to take down Sugar, but last trades. Players in position to take down B now, but Zeta has an inkling. One suppressed. Oh, really that's nice. enough information too. Yep, absolutely. Can't like, put up the toxic screen because of that. Nope, gotta wait. But I really like what Russ did there. Walk through his own snake bite, his own team snake bite to get that yeah. kill because that's not something you expect someone to do. True. To oh. Like, oh, that's, that's gonna, gonna do a lot of damage. damage. Oh my god. What? It's okay, you can heal it. You're sage, it's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> but 30 <laughs> seconds though, and we're still looking for the plant. Tosses it over, now and secures it. Teammates a bit of suppressive fire. They managed to stick it through. Now you've got a mosh pit lineup. Yes, yeah, look at this Where's lineup, this Larry. Okay, and Dev has to get a bit of space too. Thresh comes in, take a couple of shots through. The flash from Hirodon, but oh no, Polvi actually shuts it down with the operator. This could be it. Global Esports might just be able to secure off this round. Nice. Another shot from Polvi. It's all down to Yudon trying to sneak up from the sides. Gets the angle on towards it, but not quite the landing. Polvi. To that B side, okay. they're they're gonna be right in GE's faces. Definitely looking to shoot down some initial, you know, maybe zero points as well. Ovi already diving in. Depp trying to bypass this. See two wins onto site. 
angles are favoring Xana Division for the time being. So a couple of shots go their way, but Benkai comes back into trade. Oh! Zirka's here from stairs, though, gets shut down by Benkai too, and now it's a perfect oh! lineup for the Shock no Dart to, <laughs> to tase them both down to the ground. But that's kind of the Zeta that, yeah, that we're starting to here. see again. Um, Almost as if it's a combination of both Sunset yeah, yeah. and Icebox. Getting a good read, but also playing really yeah. defensively. Oh, dab. Not necessarily overextending too much. It's just really early on. You've got the Marshal. Trying to pull it out in this skirmish. Lance has got his back. Lightning fast with the wide swing. But here we are there to back him up. And, and uh, kind of well, playing defensively. I mean, look at the positioning from last. Good angle. Takes down one player. We do need Pulvi to pop off in this moment. The initial entry. Oh, but he just gets tapped. Revealing area. Bit of a crouch. I mean, he had the outlaw, so that's what he was going for. But Yudon. Impeccable performance. Now, Paranoia pushes him away. But take a look at what's happening on the mini-map. Our observers caught it, too. Depp going on a bit of a journey of his own. Alarmbot catches him out. So he just rendezvous to you know, go back with his team. Lightning Flash pushes out, though. And still Great feeling flash. sharp. A great flash from Russ to set him up. Oh, oh. Death's gonna outdo him again. Russ, though, quick for the trade. Flash. Sugar Zero now. Paranoia just to buy a bit of time, a bit of safe One space. Catches an unsuspecting Benkai. But now, not enough time to defuse the spike. Walks straight into Russ, and look at that sidestep. Global and, Esports. And Russ is involved in every kill in that round. Sure that this space is safe for Polvi to push in. Making a bit of noise, too. Ooh. If Polvi does Plant. push it, Zeta should have this round. And then you can pop the ult, too, to make this hit even harder for GE. Gonna have to wait this out or try to get it done with guns. Yeah, you got one player can paranoia in. Oh, Russ winning that! Good shot. You're on from behind, though. Great timing with this Odin. But the double swing left. from Global Esports, they capture the site. They know where Last Yudon is, and they manage to trade him Fight down. Planted. Laz is the only one left. Tries to make a quick move, but completely surrounded. It's God. they know that, yep. We've seen this yeah. before. And that's also the other thing about Ascent, it's just how much have Pacific Stage 1 matchup. Still very much aware and, and in position around this catwalk area. Global Esports bypasses it. Walk through main. A couple of players coming to reinforce towards top mid. Door's been shut. Should be an easy spike plan any second now. Here. <laughs> Great timing on that. To buy a little bit of extra time. Take that blade storm temporarily out of Depp's hands. Gundark Here. has to be cleared. This looks like a phenomenal post plant setup for GE. Oh. Clean and easy. You got players up around the door generator as well. Russ right underneath hell. Pulls Obi. Okay. Let's see if he can catch him sneaking out. Oh. He does. Good flick. You should run. Attention brought towards mid is all been for naught. Global Esports is just kind of in control of things, you know? Learn a couple of jabs, a couple of feints, trying to bait Zeta into peeking into them. The Odin now being fired off, but it just pushes Zeta Division a little bit further away as... Yeah. That's the thing. Death's still pressing forward, though. I think he can't quite get out. Recon kind of tags him as well. Blaze King, good information. The Odin is firing off. Sugar Zero, a couple of kills, but now when it comes down to it, you got two targets, Depp, and you've got an operator. Not an optimal situation to be in, so... Oh my god. Oh. Tries to back out, but just the incoming like bounce back from GE. Sometimes it's just tough to read, too. Oh my god. What? He knows. Swings out, bit of flash. Nano Storm flush him out of position, but oh. Russ just sprays it down. It is an anti eco round, so all he's got to do is to pepper him full of holes. No shots found from Zeta Division, except for the one. Now Polvi comes in. Remaining. Additional information. <laughs> Russ online for the eight. Just locking out those angles. Yeah, they know it's up there. There's the ace. For this. Russ should be. So off of it, they go on the offensive. Flashes sounded all throughout B lobby. 
but not too many kills. Only the one from Sugar Zero, as Global Esports expects it. They actually cut them down all the way from Catwalk. Fast as well. They're trying to make Zeta Division think. Look, they're making them sweat paper thin. It's, it's really smart. Now with that knife, you kind of have a pretty good idea, but you have to be so careful. You know that op is still there. Oh, last what? A triple, a quad! You said he was going nuclear, and he just dropped off. Get too rattled by that. Trying to clear open some space. Okay. We do get the kill off of that. Benkai able to use that Hunter's Fury Call on the other side of the map. Open. Yeah. A little bit of a distraction, and Benkai wins a duel. He has the advantage in timing and position right now, but again, Laz is just feeling it. Walks back down in towards that market position, catches two players as they try to rotate down mid. Blaze King comes back in for the answer. A bit of pop flash from Hirodon now, and that's Blaze King down in the dumps. Benkai, 21 HP left. And unless, you know, he, there's not that much he can do. Tries to jump over to throw them off guard, but it's just not quite enough. So a bit of attention dropped towards A short now, and that lures Hirodon in towards Blaze King's crosshairs. Suddenly, Zeta Digi uh, Division feels the pressure, and they, both of the players try to hide inside of hell. Ten seconds left for Global Esports to get the spike down, though, and Russ manages to get it done. Blaze King still in such a great spot, does the damage, Death's still alive. Able to shut down Polvi for the time being, tries to swing out wide, but Benkai denies him any joy. That was going to be the weaker part of the map, the part of the map where GE might explore. But Blaze King, you know, a savvy, savvy veteran. I think that's also why they're playing it really safe. They don't want to, to pull up any risks. If anything, minimal risk would peak at the right times. Laz is able to uh, secure surprise kills like that in a blink of an eye. Yeah. See, they're, they're really trying to buy a little bit of extra left. time. That's a great alarm bot. Deeper than normal. That's going to catch Polby. Give him a little bit more of information on where these players are coming oh, from. And Laz plays it so well. Paranoia as well. They are kind of funneled in towards Alley. Laz, very safe. Oh. Nobody pushed out too far, and he's just Five holding down, it down. B. Third kill coming Ten through. Shut down by Lightning Fast in the sudden, though. The oh! Five seconds left. Blaze King has to push in. Knows one is up by Boat House. Goes in front of Plant instead. Sugar Zero just swings and gets the kill. No time for Global Esports. Zeta Division. Yeah, his pop offs aren't like very grandiose, but he when he's popping off, things are going good. Great flash. Oh. Bit of a trade. You're not able to take down his counterpart. But that's another. Doing so much and performing right now. Les trying to sneak away with some of these. Sneaky angles. Oh, minimal risk factor. Oh, gets away free. How? If he can use that lockdown, that would be huge. Oh, and it's still firing away. So dangerous. But they're going to shut the door. This should give them, if they can clear lightning fast, who snuck in on the other side of it, should give them the ability to put this lockdown in. All right. Got to clear lightning fast first, though. That's the main thing. Good jiggle again. There's the lockdown. Lightning fast. Under pressure now. Forces the paranoia out. Stuck in the animation. The rumbling of the Odin fires away, but Sugar Zero simply peeks out. Peak accurate moments. And with the final shot, secures the defuse for Zeta Division as they tie things up six to six. I like the attempted trickery there. Pull V already trying to sneak down, but blocked off by the dark cover from Sugar Zero. Lighting fast already with the paranoia. This could be huge. Huge. There we go. Oh no. Last opening pick. Depp just ignoring Benkai. They know they have the sight. Look at these flanks. Oh, they're ready. Last. There's the second one. And he's still watching the angles. Depp has his back watching up towards the top as players try to rotate through from stairs. Blaze King able to come back in to take down both players. Still a two on three though. Hirodon tries to get further information, suppresses them at that zero point. Global Esports takes a breather. Yeah, Where could these players be positioned? It's great info. It's gonna take some fancy shooting. And you know it's these common spots as well. Definitely one around a main generator. They're all watching it. Perhaps into hell too. But without the kills, without uh, any leg room, they can't make their way into sight. Global Esports, unfortunately, losing out in the pistol. And what a Global Esports. 
not quite able to retake now. It's the setups though, again, swinging off of turret contact, Pulvi picks up the kill. That's the rifle being dropped. That's a Phantom, yeah. I, they're able to get it back, but Tep, a little over. He's going to read the position. Has to anticipate it. Look at Russ. So good. Pristine timing. Gets the shot onto Laz now. Still plays around the boxes. Couple of shots. Look at He's this. just doing enough left. to chip them down bit by bit. The rest of the Global Esports players are still on pistols, so... They're not out of the woods yet. Going out. I thought Benkai might go through for a walkabout through B main, but instead they're just going to death ball it. See if this can get over the line with these guns that Zeta has. Revealing area. Double back. Good recon. Oh, oh tiny oh tags with the ghost, too. Timer is still ticking away. Blind shots being One fired down remaining. through that dark cover. He wrote on another kill in. Lightning fast trying to do as much damage as possible, but knowing where he would be, just a bit of a pre-fire. Like and this outlaw oh. is going to get a ton of value. Only half armor oh, no. for Laz. And everybody but Dap is below the armor threshold. It's starting to look like Zeta are slowing things down, similar to what we saw last year. And again, in all these tiny little gaps, tiny little lapses and moments, Global Esports pushes up. Firing off on the Odin now. Yeah, expecting the deep push, eventually the shock dart comes in to clear him off that angle, but nobody holding main for Zeta. The they are full on. Wow. This is usually pretty tricky to pull off without that other angle, but of course with the weaponry they have yes. the stingers. stingers. Good smoke too, this is a very interesting one. If they push downstairs, they will get clipped, but that's why most of them will try to go around the other side. Depp trying to catch them on the timing. Here's the timing. reload! Okay. 15 no. left in the Last magazine. Hiranon with that Phantom making it sing. Zeta did the split setup. There they go. Now the green light is lit. Benkai, perfect position to shut them down. Tries yeah, to stay tucked way. away under logs. Pop West through though, he's completely blinded, but they didn't catch him. Benkai, a triple kill, goes in for the spray. Death just sprays him down and dead. Lightning fast goes in for the transfer, and he manages to save the round for just see Zeta Division like kind of getting a good read for things, good ideas, you know, baiting some players away, trying to keep them around a short, and then the execution. But it kind of falls apart when uh, some of these tiny little oh corners my. aren't cleared, and Lightning Fast gets to cut you down as you try to cross. He gets three kills. One enemy remains. Three. Spike down. Now Poldy chimes back in, and it's just a feast for Global Esports. Beautiful stuff. Up all the way through. Maybe a bit of a fake as the spike is actually being committed towards B. A lot of movements from Death, but they don't find anything. Russ tries oh, to punish Russ. and catch them, but Yudon actually anticipates it too. Now going in for the kill towards Benkai. The B split happening right underneath our noses. You've got the from the Shadows on Sugar Zero. He catches lightning fast. And all of a sudden, Global Esports and their setups have been dismantled. Yeah, it, it's Spike it's planted. unfortunate for us. Good time up from Coach Carlisle, though. Really sure. Let's have a no command. There he goes. They're going to pop oh. it. They're going to really Whoa. try to bully their way in through. Just running and gunning. Oh Rusty's God, Russ. tucked away and hidden. Oh, Try to play anti-flash. Yeah. Does not work out. But hello, Blaze King. Oh, he's, he's going to get wall banged instead by Depp. Gonna res him. Did they not hear it? I don't think they heard it. All right. Managed to pick it up. Global Esports just does not have an advantage. He's gonna have to back out out of there. Yeah, money's getting a little bit dire for GE. The save. Oh, Laz. Oh, he gets caught. Oh, Laz. Oh, no. And with that, a flawless you don't really want to go. Oh no, Poldy! Oh, oh no. It's not quite lining Russ, things though. up. Russ makes it a trade, indeed, on towards Step as well. So you're really going to have to rely on this lockdown, I think, from Laz. And I think that might be why they're thinking about a tuck it in the cubby. But look who's reading this pretty well is Russ. So smart, but I think they're sort of aware. It doesn't matter. He's just better. Spike down mid. Good tap. Knows he's in a bit of a tough spot now. Yudan catches him out. Spike. 
you'd like to see Yuridan be so careful. An early lockdown, anticipating this pressure. Yeah, this is a good time for it. Yes, you can clear it, but this buys you a little bit of time to get over. Ten seconds left. Okay. Trying to make spike sure that planted. you get the spike planted safely. You should run. Last his own lockdown now. Global Esports has to push up front. They're trying to catch them by surprise along with this paranoia. Wall backs in. Counter wall back from Yudon. Pushing out at the standing. right time around stairs and the trade's coming through. Yudon looking for the final player who is detained. He actually just slips right past. He doesn't know. Oh God, Ben. Oh, oh. not enough health. Yeah, that's... Good stuff from Zeta, they're able to get into it, and the Hunter's Fury coming in, trying to shut this all down, but oh. Jet's still able to find Venkai. This is where Zeta Division just goes in full force, no fear. Great execute. Spike Venkai planted. not quite able to defend all this well. Oh, My what is that oh. snap? Two kills back to back, now onto the third. Lightning Bash shuts him down, but the damage has been done. Zeta Division, right up towards the edge of it. Looking for the fast wants to deny, smokes off the spike. Blaze King pushing in. First hits up to a goes his way. A second kill now fast under his belt. Standing. Lightning Fast pushing along with his teammate, who has fallen now. Sugar Zero trying to stay tucked away and hidden. Buys enough time. No defuse available. And that's gonna be the end of the game. Zeta Division, Sugar Zero, just with the patience for it, closes out the final map 13 to 8. In a really interesting.